Mount Grimm, a gargantuan mountain by mountain standards, overlooking Estrella from the southern border. Nilk, you've been climbing for the better half of a day, entranced by the promises of what's within the loop. Your goal is now within sight as the peak of the mountain looms above you. Most wizards with the ability simply teleported to the top, however you've been forced to take the long way, it seems. You've seen a few other townsfolk and non-magical types climbing as well, but nothing strikes out as strange as what you see next. You round the bend and you see what looks to be a green cloaked figure leaning up against the side of the hill. Mm -hmm. There is standing there. Uh, they're kind of leaning up against the side of the mountain. They seem to be repairing a walking stick of some sort. <laughs> Nilk looks back at Claudio. Just, uh, yes, I, I know. Don't talk to strangers, but they look like they need help. Give me that look. As you approach, the figure, like, looks up from what they're working on and looks over at you. Hmm. Looks up at the sky. Going somewhere. Kind of like, uh, fidgets with his belt. <clears throat> air quote, belt. His tail wrapped around his waist. <laughs> uh, going to, um, the, the loop. Hmm. Seems more and more these days. <sighs> I, uh, <clears throat> uh, you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I'm just... He holds up the walking stick. Not well accustomed to climbing, you see. He motions over to the barrels. A few friends of mine willed it that I bring these supplies before entering the loop. Of course, that also means I can't just go. Kind of like looks back at the supplies and then back at him pondering how the hell this man is he <laughs> moving all this stuff. <laughs> he looks frail. You don't fucking know how he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just kind of assumes wizard bullshit. Um, well, do you need some help with carrying that stuff or transporting? A, a gladi here is really uh, strong. Hmm. He looks over at Gladiolus. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Hmm. Trying to get into the mindset of one tackling such a place. He lets out a sigh as he wraps up the rest of his walking stick and pushes himself up. It's not best to make friends, but... He looks back over his shoulder at you. We're not there yet. As he picks up a barrel and... <laughs> tries to take it over to Gladdy? I don't... I don't know how one would do this, but... <laughs> 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 the giant lion wolf scorpion thing <laughs> just kind of walks over and wraps his tail around the fucking barrel and puts it on his back. Mm. You know, that would have been a nice bit of foresight. Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> Shakes his head. <laughs> and you notice him grab another box, put it on top of the box, pick it up with one hand, <laughs> walk over, pick up the other box with the other hand. Yoke is just watching, just jaw dropped a little bit. Hmm. Are you surprised? <laughs> Nods. Best not to make assumptions about someone's looks, boy. What's your name? Uh, Nilk. Nilk. Mm. Is that your actual name? It's the one given by my father. If you don't mind it, Nilk, I'm going to impart a word of advice on you. Mm -hmm. 
when entering an area filled with wizards. It is unwise to give one's true name. You may call me Green. But it is to each his own. If one does not mind getting cursed for it. But if someone cursed me, hmm, then I probably deserved it. Ooh. <laughs> he just kind of looks forward and thinks on that for a second. <laughs> Papa always says that things happen for a reason and that if someone hates you, then you probably have earned it. <laughs> Interesting way to look at it. Do you have any particular reason for... He looks up at the ring in the sky. Going there. Mm. Adventure? Um. Kind of like looks down a little sheepishly and puts a hand on his chest, kind of tugging at the tunic a little. Personal reason? Oh. Hmm. Well, they each their own. What about you? Wasn't my choice. <laughs> he says that as if that stands for it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wouldn't just be willingly going into certain death if it were on my own terms. <laughs> he nods as if he understands, but he definitely doesn't. Oh my god, I love that. And, uh, green leads you up the rest of the mountain, you eventually reach the top, and the rest is, uh, gonna be off screen. <laughs> <laughs> the loop did not just appear in Astrea, nor only in the domain of the Magi. We head to Shade, domain of Nought. Ah, fuck. The 4,032nd cycle. You've come up on the Ash cycle, Fumi. A period of time in which the primordial storm above Shade descends lower beneath the clouds, causing rampant and destructive waves of ash. This creates a cloud that most denizens of Shade cannot traverse. So you thought you'd be alone. You aren't. As you descend into the magmatic pits beneath the valleys, and get towards the entrance to the compulsion loop, you see a suspicious red-cloaked figure staring into the entrance of the loop on a knee. Please feel free to choose how you enter, by the way. You don't have to come in on the path, you could come from really wherever. Uh, I see this person though, like, they're very not, like... Completely blindingly red, they're very clear. <laughs> cool, I'm just gonna cautionarily... Mm. ...dissolve myself. I am now Cloud. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna step off the path. Okay. As you approach nearer to this person, you see they're fucking massive, and over the front of their cloak seems to be a metal welded face mask with a single eye hole in it. Scary. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm just gonna try to get around, like, just try and, like. Yeah, I'll loop myself around. around and try not to pull their attention. They definitely don't seem to have noticed you. If they have, they haven't moved whatsoever. They're just kneeling. I love these suggestions for the name of this man. Oh, it's good. <laughs> uh, once you get like to the side of this person, like at an angle where you can kind of see their front, you notice that they have a hand out in front of them, and there's like. This swirling, almost, vortex of red 
and in the center you see a bunch of other colors. Some sort of magical spell that they're holding. But after a second it just goes and fades out, comes back. A little bit of fire as the ring of red circles around it. They still, like, if they're still facing, like, this Towards way? Towards the portal, yeah. Uh, I will also say that Better. when it fits out, you just hear a, God fucking damn it! If I use mana now, whenever we come, like, together, will I have my mana? Sure, for the I... sake of experimentation, sure. What do you cool. want to do? I just wanted to, I wanted to cast a smoke spell, along, like, right along the edge that, like, leads in. Okay. To kind of, like, obscure the low ground. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Uh, give uh, me a roll. spell roll, yeah. It's a smoke spell. Do I need accuracy more than potency? Uh, potency won't actually do anything unless you're trying to hurt this figure. Okay. Fair enough. We're gonna pump five into the sun. Alright. Potency zero. Ooh. For the record, I'll tell you that you won by one. Your intent was to, I'm assuming, obscure it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, obscure the ground, so, like, me as a smoke blob <laughs> won't be super noticeable. So I can, like, fly in really fast and, like, not have to interact with this person because they'll probably- I don't know what- I'm, people are racist towards me. Oh, they really are. Uh, the figure looks down at the ground as the smoke kind of comes in and just, like, shifts, looks back at the entrance, sees all the smoke. God, son of a- Fucking Ash Cycle! God damn it! Oh, I swear to God. Tries the spell one more time, it fizzles one more time, and then just with a stomp, they step into the portal. <laughs> okay, uh, once I see they've, like, gone in, I'm gonna just, like, smoke and... <laughs> you step down? <laughs> and immediately you feel the sensation as if you were just lifted a hundred floors in an elevator all at once. <laughs> Not all journey to the loop on such agreeable terms. Vesperwell, the man of Vash, the year is 1452. The great roots of the earth shudder and tremble as the world tree supporting the ground withers, once lush terrain burning. Onset by the dying world tree, drought spread throughout all of Esperwell. Shifting soils disturb nests of spider-like creatures and ground-dwelling sentient wasps the size of mammoths buzz through the skies, which are red with the reflected light of the flames. All of the mages try to hold the flames at bay, but their efforts are meaningless. The consumption of fire continues, unimpeded by even the strongest of deterrents. Pavuk, you observe this all. Your world in turmoil. Well, there is not much I can do here. Maybe. With that wish, I might be able to save my world, my friends, my home. I guess it is time to go. The light in the sky, the ring, the compulsion loop. You immediately knew its name and its purpose, as if it had always been there, but you knew this wasn't true. It's still determined to head forth. Where am I going again? Whatever you want to, this is your scene. I don't have a huge plan yeah, for Yeah, but it. I don't know what the direction the loop is in. Uh, up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anyone to interact with. The block doesn't have anyone to reason to talk to himself anymore. Yeah, very fair. <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> gonna head towards where I can get to the loop and, and do so. go. <laughs> you make the journey to the compulsion loop. <laughs> Emeth. You've been running. Running for 
for so long. You're fully out of breath, but you made it. As soon as your foot touched that sigil, the world around you bloomed into lights both bright and mysterious, and you found yourself emerging here. Your breath echoes in the room around you. Your footsteps reverberate as you catch your breath. This is... surreal. He starts to walk forward. Your footsteps are loud. The room itself seems massive, and on the sides is a smooth stone wall, or is it an abyss? It's almost as if the two blur. Emeth kind of walks over to the wall to touch it with his hand, it feels, seeing how the texture feels. It feels solid. It feels cold. It feels deep, but it's semi-translucent, and beyond it you see swirling darkness. Uh, seeing the swirling darkness, Emmet sort of like steps back a bit and, uh, and then shudders. <sighs> My god. He starts walking a bit faster as the walls. He feels as though they're just enclosing upon him in, in this vast, long, small hallway. Just, just have to go, just have to make this wish. Just have to make everything right. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. As the area opens up, a door with a four-pointed symbol engraved on it stands ominously before you. And then something weird happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a vip, kind of like the sound of a zipper, and a white hole opens at the side of the wall. Oh. My. And you see a figure step around the side of what seems to be a hole in nothing. Ah, good heavens! You haven't entered the door yet, right? Is that so? Oh, good. Um, I'm not too late. Hm. Uh, uh, no, no, I haven't opened the door. I've just arrived. Oh, well, wonderful. I was worried that my timing was off. I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, ah. Well, I was actually going to ask you that, but I guess we can start that way. Um, although you might want to hold on to it. <laughs> um, for the sake of pleasantries, I'm only going to offer you one question at the time, so if you will, please choose wisely. Uh, oh, um, but of course. I hope it's not a problem. <laughs> um,. I was going to ask yours, yes, what, what is your name? <laughs> oh, um, my name is Emeth. Emeth? Emeth, 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 Emeth. Oh, right there. Uh, this, you notice now this figure has four arms, <laughs> and their face changes in a very, almost robotic manner. They pull out a hand with a dossier over it, and kind of just scroll up and down. It's like a blue screen. You've never seen anything like this before, but the figure looks over it. Ah, there we are. <clears throat> right, ah. Uh, you wanted to know my name. Of course. Um, here. Like, first one's on the house. I don't see a problem with that. Uh, uh although I don't know if you really want to do that. I'm sure there's more important questions you could ask me. Uh, whatever. My name is Ludda. A pleasure to meet you. 
Oh, um, likewise. Um, I see that I might have unsettled you. I uh, certainly apologize. Uh, is, should, should I go? Was this a bad time? Oh, no, 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 not, a, not at all. I'm, uh, just very taken aback. I'm sure you must understand with what you, coming in from seemingly nowhere, uh, just a little taken aback is all. Um, you wouldn't know how to open this door now, would you? They rub one of their forehands under their chin and just kind of look up at the door. Oh, yes, of course. Um, you, you grab the doorknob. You have doors where you're from, right? <laughs> oh, I see this doorknob. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I... Uh, well, you could also tap it if you want to be really preppy about it, but, uh, I mean, there is just a doorknob. Mm, Pothius has installed those because he thought people wouldn't understand that you can just tap a door. Uh, anyway, I, 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 I should tell you before you continue, um, it's only fair that I say, this door, and all others like it, leads to the next floor. Once you pass through one of these doors, you can't go back. And vice versa. These are your goals. I'm sure you know your goals, right, and how this place works. I don't have to recalibrate the message spell again, all the information transferred over properly, right? I beg your pardon? You know where you are, right? Oh, yes, yes, of course. In any case, <laughs> there's no turning back once you enter that door, so... Of course. Do you have any more questions? <laughs> uh, no, uh, thank you. I believe I should be okay. Wonderful. Why exactly have you come to me? Oh, I just found you rather interesting. Uh, they rub the, their chin again. Um, uh, pardon, that probably sounds weird. I'm really absolutely awful at dealing with people. <laughs> I'm not exactly supposed to be down here. Uh, don't tell the others. Yeah. I won't. They pull out of uh, seemingly nowhere a a round thing and flip, flick a coin towards you. On the house. Uh, and it sort of catches the coin on his chest. <laughs> oh, um. You, you look at the coin, it's got his face on it. <laughs> ha! One question, free of charge. Any point. Thank you. I. I'm. Hold on to this, I suppose. <laughs> well, hold on to it, give it to your party if you will. They'll need it. My party? Oh, you'll know soon enough. They walk back in through the door and the slit closes immediately. My, my. <laughs> I suppose there's no direction now, but onward. Um... Oh dear. And I miss looks forward to the door. So I suppose I just crack this door knob. And he reaches over, grabs the doorknob. You notice the slit open again and he steps back out. <laughs> oh, wrong doorknob. You don't want to push that one. Oh? Um Oh Bye. Um <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the other doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> he tries pulling the door open. <laughs> no, no, no! Like, oh God, do I have to do this for you? Steps over, grabs the knob, <laughs> spins it. <laughs> there you are. Is that better? Oh, um, thank you. My yes, word, the things right. they make me do these days. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> and the door whoosh, comes up like a sliding hydraulic door and opens I suppose there's no turning back now and he walks forward <laughs> Fuck, I love that- I love them! <laughs> They're really good! Now, everybody, welcome to Floor 1. <laughs> Do 
Jin? Or Jean? Or... You know, whatever you prefer to call yourself. Jean! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you stepped through that yawning door, um... You didn't have any interactions with a weird white figure. No idea what that's about. You, that's not in your memory at all. That's just Emmeth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look around you, after walking through, there's no entrance to a door anymore, just an open, white abyss. Everything you'd ever known is behind you now. And that, that was much to begin with. <laughs> Well, that was much to begin with, and after entering that door, you find yourself completely and utterly alone. Your feet touch down on some sort of a floor, but whatever is there you can't perceive, or it looks like a well of swelling mist, but it's certainly solid. Welcome to the compulsion loop. Jean looks around at all of the emptiness. Ah, I like this place. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? Your no, voice no. goes and just echoes. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm going to uh, fall back on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Sand kind of flutters a bit. I'm just gonna lay here for a bit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here for like five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to actively perceive anything? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you won't notice when just a figure walks by while you're lying there for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Jean. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. After a I bit, love I'll get Jean. Up. Okay, okay, Same. cool. Ow. Uh, <laughs> okay. And now I'm just gonna start trotting along. You do start to see figures in the mist, but they're very hard to make out. I'm gonna try and walk over. I'm not trying to be stealthy at all. It doesn't even look like this figure has noticed you. They've got their arm out in front of them and are just kind of trudging through the mist forward. <laughs> Waves hand in front. Hello? They pass right through your hand. Oh, okay. Well, that's not really that solid anyway, so that makes sense. <laughs> Have a good day, calls back behind him. <laughs> <laughs> this figure, however, stands out to you. As they walk by, you start to see color for the first time in this empty place. And, oh, you realize, wait a minute, that's actually two figures. Jean is gonna walk up to them and uh, try and wave their hand in front of their face too. Hello. Oh, uh, he can hear and perceive this. Yeah? Yes, and this is the first person you've seen in this very empty domain. <laughs> You're not green. Hmm. I don't think I'm green. <laughs> I think I'm red. Neil kind of leans forward like. Studying <laughs> just like if we're following his logic, then yeah, you're red. Or is oh. it orange? Cause <laughs> oh no, no, I that's no, I red points at the cloth. <laughs> oh crap! He said not to give names. Ah. Uh, Why aren't we supposed to give names? Uh, he uh, green said something about uh. People might curse or something. Oh. But. Hang on. 
Are you well, a I can't find it, maybe, because I don't know what my name was. I just found this. Pulls out from his chest a thing. It says Jin on it. I did. I. I didn't. I didn't know what the D meant, so I just. I call myself Jean. That's how, uh, that's how you say it, right? That. Hmm. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, I know, right? Gladdy, how do you say this? Uh, Jin. That's no, close. That can't be right. That, that's not <laughs> yeah. a gene. I mean, yeah, like. Whatever. So, yeah, I'm Jean. Jean. Um. Kind of like leans forward again, like pokes Jean. You're not a bad guy, right? You poke my chest, your finger sinks in. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh yeah, it's re it really is. Holds out an arm, the arm falls off. <gasps> your arm! <laughs> and then it just goes like in back into my foot and grows again. So wait, are you a bad guy? <laughs> I don't... I, I, oh god, am I? I don't oh. think I am. Okay, here, uh, uh, if you're a bad guy, you would have attacked me. That's a good point. So no, no I'm not. Okay, then, uh, you can call me Nilk. Nilk, got yeah. it. This is Gladio. Gladio, got it. Jean takes out a piece of paper, a piece of charcoal, and then writes <laughs> that down. Well, as he's writing, he like Neil does that thing where he like goes around and like tries to read over the shoulder. <laughs> oh, here you want to see? Kind of holds it out a bit. It just says "not bad guys." <laughs> and then Neil Gladdy <laughs> or Gladio. What does that say? It. Do, do you not know what it says? That's not in the language I speak. <laughs> I... Okay, I just thought of something. Um, it looks like gibberish to you. I have <laughs> decided this is not a real language <laughs> that I'm writing in. <laughs> so, why are you here, Jin? Oh, I don't know. You do not know? Nope. Do you know what this place is? Yeah, no, this place, it, it, yeah, I know what it is, but, like, I really like it. I like big open spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. They're the best to go on a run, or a, or a, a, well, gl glad he doesn't like when I do it, but when you shoot off a, a magic spell and you try to erase it. Hmm. I haven't tried to do that. It's fun. Maybe I should do that. That sounds like fun. I'm not really fast. I'm not particularly fast, though. What? Jean, looking at Neil, kind of looks over at the blackness behind <laughs> him. And then waves very over-exaggeratedly, like holding up the hand straight up and then waving the entire arm. <laughs> Nilk imitates it, but waving at Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Jean kind of like points over at the black cloud. I, I'm that thing. <laughs> Nilk turns around and says, "Oh, hi, black cloud." And the black cloud just, <laughs> just going. <laughs> just, just going. going. <laughs> 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 These people are weird. I gotta go. <laughs> These people Bye are weird. Cloud. Hey, Black Cloud, uh, you promptly <laughs> bump directly into, as you, like, panically walk away, you bump into a spider. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, crouches down, and, like, defensively. <laughs> Hello, little one. What are you doing here? Same thing that everyone's doing. Uh, likely. Wait. Why aren't you the same white that everyone else is? I don't know. There's some weird people over there, though, and I'm just... 
Well then, perhaps we should go interact with them. Maybe they know what's going on here. They seem kind of like they're kind of dumb. I don't know if I want to interact with them. I have found that sometimes the people that seem the most insane have the most wisdom to offer. <laughs> As I'm walking with my cane and my giant spider leg body. <laughs> <laughs> my staff. Gene <laughs> looks over. Oh, they have lots of legs. They have like one, two, it's at least six. Are you coming, little smoke creature? <laughs> the red leg dots narrow. Watch from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> Vok shakes his head and moves closer. Hello. Hi. Hello. Do you know where, uh. Do you know where the next level is and why we can't see anyone else? Oh, uh... no one else seems to be able to understand or hear us. Hey, hang on. It's Shane. It's Shane. Huh? I'm through the test. Oh, are, yeah. are you a bad guy? I'm not going to attack you if that's what you're wondering. Oh, okay, right. so they're not bad. They're bad. Picked up a piece of paper again. Uh, what's your name? Uh, you can call me Pavok. <laughs> I don't know how to spell that, so I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kind of look over to Gladius. Are they always like this? I do not know about Jin, but Milk is very much like this. <sighs> hey, Fomian. You see another person in the mist. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Where? Red. Red over. Oh shit, there's two of them. <laughs> Red <laughs> over oh, here. <laughs> He's learned how to multiply! There's a glitch in the system! Uh, anywho, Fumi, you see a man. I think a man. Probably a man. <laughs> Do I recognize it as an elf? Mm, roll intelligence for history of creatures? <laughs> okay, hold on. Because I don't know if there are elves in shade. <laughs> there might be dark elves. Uh, I got a three. You got a three? <laughs> okay, no, you never heard of elves before. What's with this pointy man? <laughs> Pointy man. I have very pointy features. <laughs> uh, and with this just sort of like walking around. Kind of not aimlessly, but kind of aimlessly. <laughs> Mainly due to the fact that this whole place is empty. <laughs> very. This person looks completely lost. <laughs> oh, oh. Hello, do you happen to know where the door is? No? Okay. They look Thank at you. you and then they turn away as if they like saw you and it seems like, oh wait a minute, they probably saw you the same way as you saw them. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye. You do see that <laughs> smoke cloud over there though. <laughs> oh, that's something that's different. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh. No, I, I, I won't hurt you if that's what you're wondering. The red dot's narrow. No, truly, it's. Are you an idiot? Uh, am I a what? Never mind, you are. What? What? <laughs> I, I'm a man! Well, I'm an elf, but I'm also a man. Don't you know if that's what. Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> I love Tommy so much! Oh my god, this is so good! <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be others. 
<laughs> Emmett sees two idiots talking. <laughs> and and Pavok is just <laughs> probably trying to hold an intelligent conversation with Gladius. Uh, hello. Gene looks over. Hi! Are you a bad oh. guy? Well, bad is a bit of a relative term. <gasps> uh, my enemy would be bad to me, whereas your enemy would be bad to you. However, I am not your enemy, and so, no, I am not bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cool, okay. <laughs> Gene is going to pretend like he understood that. Neil uh, also nods. <laughs> takes out the paper. Okay, so what? what's your name? Oh, uh, I am Emmeth. Emmeth Elecare. Gene writes down the letter M and then T. M feels a disturbance in the forest. And, uh, you all are? Oh, my name's Jean. I'm Neil. Holds up a thing that clearly does not say Jean. Oh, is that how that's pronounced? Yeah, <laughs> I think. Anyway. Uh, it's Jean, but I do not think he understands proper. Yes, I was about to say, I do think that that word is rather chin, but your name is your name. Jean tilts their head. <laughs> I am Gladio. I am Pavok. It's a pleasure to meet you, Emmeth. Pavok and Gladio? I do say, I've never seen beings such as yourself. Are you a sort of chimera, Gladio? Kind of like looks back at Neil and then like back at himself. Sure, let's go with that. Right. Of course, and have a... Well, I don't really know what you are, <laughs> but I suppose you're just Pavok. Pavok just inclines his head. Hmm. Uh, do any of you know where the next door is? I am completely lost. I have no idea where the door is. I'm just kind I of enjoying my time here. I anything other than you three, and that's smoke cloud over there. Oh, yes, what is that smoke cloud? Does anyone know who that is? No. I think it is a being that is very skittish. I tried saying hi. I don't really have any magic that would be able to help me drag it over here <laughs> so we could poke to it. Actually, wait, I almost <laughs> tried saving. But, uh, I don't think it would work against I'm the cloud. I'm threatened! <laughs> <laughs> you see all these ghosts like huddling around you bunk into one. <laughs> you do not want to forcefully try to make contact. Oh, I see they're going anyways. Hey. Hang on. Uh, Can I just go up? Anyway, what was this you said yeah, about you this could. door? Come back. Oh, oh, okay. Well, uh, you're up now. Well, okay, I can do that. And uh, I'm going to <laughs> try and stretch myself up really high, like just a single pillar of sand. <laughs> Hi. What do you want? Are you a bad guy? <laughs> What's your definition of bad? I, uh... Um, are you gonna attack us? Not unless you attack me. Well, I'm not gonna attack you. Well, then now I'm not going to attack you. <laughs> Is that a bad guy? No! Hi, not so, bad guy! So what's your name? Do you know how much of a bad idea that is? Well, I mean, you're not a bad guy, so... Seems pretty reasonable to me. Yes, but if you know my name, and you kind of, you don't seem very... There's a tapping against the, like, mask <laughs> that you can't see, like, where it's coming from. You don't seem like you're all there. I, I think you're all here. <laughs> <laughs> looks down at the sand, looks behind them to see if they left anything behind. <laughs> Case in point, <laughs> but if you know my name, and then someone's like, Hey, we're gonna torture you unless you tell us this cloud's name. Well, then you'll probably just tell my name. Why would anyone torture me? Because they're bad guys. That's good. Oh, I mean, that's going to be really hard. 
And, and if a bad guy tries to torture me, I'll just tell Gladio to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> if a cloud could blink, it would. I mean, you could narrow your eye. Why can't you blink? <laughs> True. It's just a smoke like covering. <laughs> I <missed> the eye. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Gladio's really strong. You're weird. Thank you, I can say that a lot. I'm gonna fly away now. <laughs> no! Gene, <laughs> like, kind of condenses back down into a form and then starts, like, kind of running. I'm back! Save! <laughs> Bumps into a person. Oh, sorry. They're going to get attacked, aren't they? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, you were mentioning a door, and. Uh, yes, I was told by a being upon my entry that uh, in order to get to the next level that we would need to find doors that lead us into the next level. Uh, hmm. To which I assume there must be one in here somewhere. As there could always be a requirement to find said door. We can only see each other, so maybe... Well, if... We can also see those white beings that seem to traverse this place. Did, the, did this being that informed you there was a door inform you of anything else? Give you any other cryptic hints? Um, not that I believe so. I I think that all they said was yes, that I'd be meeting a, a party, which I assume is you all, um, and that, uh, uh, yes, that there would be a door and we would have to find it, and that's how we traverse each of the levels of this uh, loop. Perhaps that is it. The party. Maybe we must have to be, uh, everyone. Gathered together before setting forth? Y yes, that might be best. It is always best to have, uh, well, comrades, as it were, uh, if you're going to be facing any sort of adversaries. Which means we likely would need to convince that smoke monster <laughs> that we need its help. Hmm. I love well, the it's... one. It seems as though the Sandman is already trying to work on that. Uh, I'm sorry, his name is what? Gene? Not his name? That is what he likes to call himself. Yes, Gene. Well, if that is his wishes, then I shall respect them. Um, Gene, okay. Yes, it seems as though they're already trying, but perhaps we should go and assist? I think it is afraid of large groups. Hmm. <laughs> You look over at Jean, just kind of, like, hopping, trying to grab them. <laughs> Perhaps more accurately, we should stop Jean from whatever they're doing. Jean! Oh, yes, we might be coming on a bit too hastily, a bit too hard. We should try to let them come to us. Uh, yes, yes. Shall um, we go? Yes, I do think so. Jean, hang on, let me try. Okay, oh. you can try uh, hello, um, uh, is it okay if I call you Black Zen? Since I met this other guy who was like all <laughs> green stuff and he said the same thing you said about names and whatnot. <laughs> so, was, it, was that work? I don't think I'll respond to that. Okay, um... What will you respond to? Not you. <laughs> Damn! Uh, <laughs> Jean kind of like get the the eyes get sad, and Jean just kind of droops down into a puddle. Oh no, Jean! Oh no, Jean! Oh no, sad uh, man. <laughs> well, um, well, my name is Neil. Um, we please come down and talk, even if only for a moment. I promise I won't hurt you. Or even try. I'm kind of not really that strong. So we will come down and, and reform. Can I just point out that Fumi's like three feet tall? <laughs> oh, so tiny! That's the so actual tall. size of a child. Is that just they so cross cool? their like tendrils. Oh. I see a being comprised of entirely of smoke. I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah, 
they really don't want you to know that we exist. Who are they? You're so cool! Not everyone is as interested in weird and strange creatures as you are. No, they just enslave us. Oh my, that's not good at all. Where are the bad guys? We'll beat them up, or at least... Gladi well, will help you beat up bad guys. we're stuck in the loop, we can't go anywhere. Huh. Speaking of stuck, it appears unless we can find the door to this uh, level, then we will not be moving forward from here. I suspect we'll need to uh, work together in order to find it. Yes, quite. I, I do agree with you, Pavlov. After all, we are the only people who can see and hear each other. Emeth is going to try to walk over and approach one of these creatures again. Seems very... Uh, almost like... It, again, it's like a weird silhouette of a person. You can almost see someone there, but they don't notice you. Um, hmm. Fumi, what's your current opinion of these these folks? They probably won't hurt me, so they're 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 okay. At the mention of teamwork, what's your thought? Eh. Fine. <laughs> All right, that's if good I enough. Must. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally only you that I'm questioning at this point. So. Pretty much as soon as as, as Emmeth takes a step away and Pavlok is like, well, I think teamwork is a good idea. <sighs> All of the mist around clears. <laughs> oh. And you see around you not only a door, but a bunch of varied people kind of hands out wandering. They seem like they can't see what's in front of them as the mist swirls around. Can we talk about this mushroom over <laughs> here on the left? Mushroom! Hey look guys, it's him! It's him! I'm sad now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why there's three of these fucking, like, snowflake, whatever these blue guys are. The I like this antler being the over nights. here. It's really cute. Oh, the antler dude. Can we get a zoom in on the dryad? Yeah. Oh, that's so that one cute. Might be from my we all know. Oh. oh, I know who that is. <laughs> it's, it's so it's. I'm very zoomed out. So, I... Gene is still a sad puddle. <laughs> no. <laughs> it appears the party is gathered. The door has appeared. Walk over to the sand puddle. Oh, uh, Gene, are you all right? Gene looks up. I'm sad. Oh. But don't yes. worry, Sandman. Sure. We're not going to leave you behind. Come Hang on. on. I've got this. I've got this. Uh, Neil leans down and, like, tries to find where the eyes are. They're, they don't exist. Gently pokes two air quote eye holes and a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Gene gets up. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. It worked! D yeah, d d yes, I think, <laughs> maybe. Um, little smoke creature, what, do you have a name? I Wouldn't should you like to know Pointy Boy? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, quite. We can't uh, call you little smoke creature the entire time. What shall we call you? Gremlin! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nuke, uh, gremlins are quite actually different creatures. They're, they're quite rampant in my land where I'm from. Oh, uh, mm, you're smoke. I guess if you have to call me anything, like, Fumi. That's a cute name. Fumi. Good to meet you, Fumi. My name is Pavok. Gene takes out paper. Writes down Fumi under doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I feel so bad for Gene. <laughs> Sorry, Gene. <laughs> as much fun as it might be to uh get used to teamwork and all that bullcrap, I don't think we're going to learn it overnight in an emotionless void. I'm going to reach up towards the handle. Yeah, it opens. And I'm going to open the door. <laughs> Shall we move forward? Well, I suppose that's the first level done and dusted with. 
I doubt anything will be this easy from moving on. I'm sure it'll be easy. He is hoping so. I'll go in first since I appear to have taken the role of team leader. Very well. Pavok disappears. <laughs> Through the door. Through the door. Through the door. Jean. Jean. <laughs> Jean, don't be sad. Jean, do you go through the door as well? Jean is going to go through the door, yeah. Well, look around at the empty void and say, Oh, well. Damn, I like this place. I hope it's all empty. <laughs> don't go through the door. Fucking brilliant. I love dreams. <laughs> <laughs> <Story for> me. me. <laughs> Back on the first floor, another okay. figure enters Ooh. into the first floor of Limbo, holding up a dossier. Looks around, sees all the ghosts, takes a step. Signals. Objects start to appear on their dossier. The blue screen denoting different words in a different language, and in the distance they look up and underneath their cloak they smile as they see a group approaching them. And in a moment, the mist around them clears instantly. Yet, Green holds up a hand, Red nods, takes a few steps forward, Blue takes a few steps towards the door, Yellow walks over, hops up on top of a pillar, and Purple takes a step beside Red, as fire ignites around Red's hand, all the people blind, wandering around the loop. <laughs> Fireballs impact every single one of their chests, killing them instantly. <laughs> and when the entire oh. room is cleared, Red sets down their hand, burning with a little bit around the metal fingertips. And the five of them continue towards the door.